Let's head to Stephen D'Souza in New York. And Steve, you're with another group of protesters that had a plan that police thwarted. Tell us what's happening there. That's right, it's after the curfew, and this crowd is again defying it. And they actually wanted to send a very direct message to the mayor. And so they had originally planned to go to the mayor's residence, but the police blocked it off. And so now they're marching through the streets. And as they walk through these caverns of apartments, people have been banging pots in support of them. And one thing we're seeing on the streets is that for people protesting, their resolve is stronger than ever. There are protests and then there are movements. What's happening on the streets of New York shows no sign of slowing down. A march last night stretched as far as the eye can see. Um, as long as I can walk, I'm going to be here. Cordell Watts has been out every day since the protest began. I feel like if I'm not here doing my part, I can't talk liberation. I can't talk, you know, Black Lives Matter. Edith Chase came out for the first time today. I needed to add my voice to the conversation. That desire to be heard continues to be expressed across the country, from Philadelphia to Los Angeles to Milwaukee and dozens in between. Word of new charges did little to slow things down today. Too many here have seen police officers charged only to be exonerated later. We see history being repeated each and every time something like this happens. An arrest is not enough. We need you to get, go to trial, we need you to be sentenced, and we need you to go to jail. And we won't, I don't think we should stop marching until those things happen. And I don't say stop the protest. No, the protest must go on. But the march to justice is long and difficult. Gwen Carr knows that better than most. Her son, Eric Garner, died after he was put in a chokehold during an arrest. The officer involved wasn't charged and was only fired five years later after multiple investigations. We got to wake up America. We all live in the same house, but we are treated differently. She's trying to build support for new laws in New York to make chokeholds illegal, bring more transparency around who police arrest, and more disclosure when officers are accused of misconduct. But laws aren't all protesters want changed. I just want us, you know, as colored people to be looked at the same as everyone else. The mayor, the, the protesters here had a very specific demand of the mayor, one of many they have, and that is to cut the police budget. And so they wanted to deliver that to the mayor tonight, but police blocked the entire area around the residence. And it's interesting because the mayor was asked about this at a news conference earlier today. Should the police budget be cut? Upwards of $6 million here in New York City. And the mayor said, it's simply not a good idea. There are other avenues, but... That's not good enough for this crowd here, and so that's just one of the many reasons why people are going to continue to march. Andrew? All right. Stephen D'Souza in New York for us tonight. Thanks.